you lied, you died. Great little story here. You know, Uncle Claus is a storyteller. I like to just tell the day-to-day -day events that happen in my very successful business, but even I make mistakes or sometimes I'm manipulated. I hear other sales trainers say, how do you know the prospect is lying? Well, their lips are moving or all prospects lie all the time. I don't go into sales with that attitude. I go into it like a doctor. I'll say somebody has a problem and hopefully my gut sales method, something I can help them with in real estate or whatever they're doing, marketing, social media, I can help them with the gut sales method. I look for solving their, taking away their pain or whatever's concerning them at the moment. So I ask a lot of questions. Recently, I just, I had a prospect called me up. We had a phenomenally great phone call. They, he called me up, Claude, I'm having problems in real estate. I'm having trouble on the phone. Um, I'm not qualifying people. We spoke for 15, 16 minutes. I said, I can help you. I've made a decision. I want to work with you. He said, I want to work with you. We worked out the numbers and everything. And then he said, oh, Claude, all of a sudden my wallet's missing. I can't find my credit card or anything. This is, I share the real world with you guys, okay? You got enough fancy, you got enough fancy sales training gurus out there with their, you know, they got their personal cameraman and they, they have all the slick backgrounds and they change the pictures. I do it differently. I just want to give it to you straight. So you know what I'm saying is the truth. And so he said, I'll call, you know, I'll, I said, well, here's my other, um, my other number. Just make sure you call my office or you text me in the next 30 minutes and I'll get you the materials and we'll set an appointment to work in a day and we'll, get, we'll start solving this problem. So didn't hear from the guy. So I text him, what's going on? Oh, Claude, well, I'm going to have to put it off. Uh, and um, I'll call you in uh, three, four months. I said, no, you won't. It's over. You're fired. I say that dramatically. Why? Because when someone makes a commitment to me, I make a commitment to them. I do an after-sell technique. I say, you haven't, you're comfortable with this decision. We spent a lot of time here on the phone. We worked out the numbers. You're, this is your problem, and I want to help you with it. And then all of a sudden, money, the wallet's missing or something, which could happen. It, it happens. Sometimes I misplace my wallet, not often. Um, but the person texted me, said, oh, Claude, I, I really liked everything you said. We had a great call, but I'll, I'll get back to you in three, four months. I said, no, you won't. You made a commitment to me. You lied. You died. It's over. Um, you've got to have high standards. You cannot be manipulated by the prospect. You have to be the doctor, the authority, the adult in the room. So when someone makes you a commitment and you've spent your God-given life with that person and then they backpedal or they're manipulating or they're lying to you or they've just had a change of heart because you didn't do a strong after sell, it's time to say you're fired. Okay, and I'm not being cute here, you know, because in the old days when I first started business and you need every nickel, okay, uh, believe me, I ate a lot of crow then, but today I don't have to, and maybe you don't have to either. Sometimes it's just better to not work with people you're not a good fit with, who are lying, who are manipulating you. Life is too short. You have a good product. You're passionate about what you sell. Make sure you get strong commitments, and if they then come back to you and had a change of heart or they're doing something that shows a lack of character. Don't work with that person. Just fire them. And you know what? Get back on the phone and you will make magic happen again and again. You'll say, thank God I didn't work with that person because now I'm working with John and Mary and they're wonderful. So make sure you work smart because nobody deserves success more than you. Don't let people manipulate you. Don't be on the phone for 45 minute free consulting phone calls. Don't get in your car and drive to properties or drive around looking, what do they call it? Driving for dollars and all that stuff. I used to do that too. You make more money on the phone, use a gut sales method, talk to enough people, five a day, have good adult to adult conversations and you won't waste your time, won't waste time like your uncle Claude did in that one scenario. But I ended it. I will never, I'll put a note in my computer in my system and that person ever calls me up. I will cross, it'll cross reference with their email, with their phone number, with their name, unless they lied about that too. And I won't work with that person. I stand very strong in that and I'm not a big shot and I'm not high and mighty. I just want to work with people who respect my time, knowledge, and energy, who I can help. I sincerely want to help people, but I'm also running a practical business too, and so should you. And if you have any, que if you have any questions about this, this is a little controversial video here. If you have any questions, give me a call. I answer my own phone, 970-281-5151, uh, um, or go to my webpage, ClaudeDiamond.com. I got a great free book there, A Mentor Teaches the Gut Sales Method. You don't have to pay for it on Amazon or anything like that. I'll give it to you for free because nobody deserves success more than you good people. I know how hard you're working out there. Take care. Be safe.